As you know, in the previous video, we have discussed Theta Theory. And in this video, we are going to elaborate what is case theory. For moving to our topic, I want to tell you that if you want to know more about language, about linguistics, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for the our for our let's see in english language we have the sentences just like this you can see the boy likes her he likes the girl she likes him he likes her him likes she her likes he after reading all these sentences, any speaker of English language can judge that what sentence is grammatical and what sentence is ungrammatical. And you can notice that what are the grammatical sentences and what are the ungrammatical sentences. And in this example, we see that the two sentences, number fifth and number six, are ungrammatical and what are the reason of uh, this, these ungrammatical sentences let's see what is the reason behind this ungrammaticality and why these sentences are grammatical first of all in this video we are going to tell you that what is case filter Chomsky has developed that the case filter. In the previous video, we have discussed that every NP within the sentence are assigned the theta roles. Because we should know that what are doing the NP within the sentence structure. And if we know that what is the role of the NP, we must assign some case. we should distinguish that whether the uh, whether it is the position of object or it is the position of subject for this marking we have the one module that is case filter in some languages case is overtly marked and in other languages case is covertly marked and in english language we have three types of case marking mean nominative accusative possessive examples of nominative case marking is he she i we and the accusative case marking in english language especially is him her me us are the examples of accusative case marking and the third one is possessive. What is possessiveness? And we see the example of English language that his, her, my, over are the examples of possessive case marking. And Chomsky has developed that the case filter. And what case filter tells us? Case filter tells us that every phonetically realized NP must be assigned case. It means that within the sentence structure, all the DPs that are present in the sentence structure must be assigned case. What are the case of the particular DP? Either the NPs are at the subject position are at the object position. These NPs must be assigned some case. And see how case are assigned and what are the lexical head or the functional head that assigned the case. As you know that in the previous video we have already discussed that there are five types of grammatical category and if you don't know what are the five types of grammatical grammatical category you can click on the link and you should know that the what are the 
grammatical categories and see how the case are marked, how the case are marked with the sentence and see in the previous video we have already discussed what is the thematic structure. Thematic structures are that structure in this the future roles are assigned and the next level the functional level and at that functional level the keys are assigned and see first see what is the thematic structure and what is the function structure in the English language in this diagram we see that how this diagram is constructed first we see that here the lexical head like like head V it selects NP as a complement and this head V assign the teacher role to the the girl and this V bar is merged with the VP and VP is the maximum projection and this head assign the agentive case to the NP and at this level we see that this is the thematic structure because theta roles are assigned to the DPs because in this level we see that there are two DPs that are taking part in the in that level and at that level we have assigned the theta role to the two DPs and this level has been completed and see the next level and you should know that what is the function of the lexical V and here V assigns the girl the cheetah role and the second potential of V is that V also assign the accusative case to the NP case are assigned at that condition if we have assigned the cheetah role to the NPs after that the next step is to assign the case to the NP. The first initial step is that we should assign the teacher role to the NP. After that, we will further move to assignment of the case marking. And see, at this level, a mathematics structure has been completed, and this diagram states that this is not the fully grammatical sentence because we don't know what is the tense in this sentence for the tense marking we should have that what is the tense marker in English language here we have only the verbs the verb is like we don't have at this place what is the tense the tense the present the past the future and we don't know what is the tense and who, how can the tense is being realized? The tense is being realized if this VP is selected by the inflection. And this inflection can be the present tense. This inflection can be the past tense. This inflection can be the future tense. And this inflection head bigger the nominative case and this assigns the NP the nominative case but you should know that what is the placement of this he at this domain he is at the thematic structure within the thematic structure within the within he within its domain but here I did not assign the case at this point because this structure has been completed and what is the property of I the what is the property of inflection the property of inflection is that it bears EPP feature what is EPP feature EPP feature is extended projection principles it requires that the lower NPs must move at the initial position of the sentence because it states that the initial position of every sentence within the English language must be filled overtly. This is the extended projection principle and 
this extended protection principle triggers the lower NP heat and it takes NP at its specifier and at this specifier placement this I assign he the nominative case and in this diagram we will come to know that that in this diagram two heads operates for assigning the case the one the V the lexical head that assigned the accusative case to the NP at the local domain and this V head also follow the locality principle and this I assigns the nominative case to the he this is also fulfill the locality principle these two heads are very important within the sentence structure because these heads assign the case the V head assign the accusative case to the NP and the I assign the nominative case to the subject position I am repeating again that every phonetically realized NP must be assigned case it means that with the sentence structure we have a lot of NPs we have a lot of noun phrases and these noun phrases firstly are assigned the theta roles and we should know that what are the roles of these NP within the sentence structure and after that roles are being assigned we should assign the case of these NPs because we have the data and our data reveals that some examples are grammatical and some examples are ungrammatical if there is no case we see that we observe the ungrammaticality because case is very important in the syntax because it is the functional property of some heads and in this video we have got that there are two heads at this level we have two heads that operates for assigning the case the first is the V that assigns the accusative case within the local domain and the next is the I inflection that assigns the NP the nominative case and for the English requirement this present inflection attaches to the like and it will be a fully grammatical sentence we can see that our sentence is fully grammatical he likes the girl this is the grammatical sentence and see how these sentences are ungrammatical here this is the nominative position and this is the history position at this place we require that at this place we should have the accusative case if we put at this place the nominative case it will be ungrammatical and at this place we must have the nominative case and if we put at this place the accusative case our sentence will be ungrammatical because English requires that at this uh, at this place it should be it must be nominative case and at this level it must be the accusative case because this like assigns the nominative case this has the potential to assign the nominative case and this inflection has potential to assign the nominative case and these operations must follow the locality principle and at this level all our previously constructed principle has been fulfilled first the locality principle is being followed the second is endocentricity principle is being followed the third our x bar theory has fulfilled at this place and we have predicted that 
the two structure the thematic structure and the functional structure and at this level we have applied the theta theory and we have applied the case theory and we have assigned all the deep all the ampere only the theta rose and after that their case has been valued and this sentence has been grammatical and this is acceptable for all the English language speakers and these sentences are ungrammatical because it has mismatch of the cases and if we if we put correctly the case or sentence will be grammatical and at this level we have known that there are two hands that assigns the case the first is the V that assigns the accusative case in the local domain and the second is I that assign the nominative case at the, the local domain. Thank you very much. If you want to get more about language, please subscribe this channel, like and share the video.